Hi, welcome to Invited Back with Sabbath Kapahu. Today I wanted to talk about the reality of feeling drained. We are about a year and a half in to a global pandemic. And I think it's probably safe to say that in some way or form, your heart and your mind feels a little drained. And my heart behind this space of meeting you here each week is a reminder that you are not alone and that there is a sacred space in solidarity. Yesterday was Earth Day and I was watching a Netflix series with my kids hosted by David Attenborough who is such a legend in the world of naturalist history and this title of the series was seeing in color and he was talking to us about flamingos I know you can picture them the beautiful pink feathers the elegant way they kind of move around their necks standing tall but I learned something new last night as you always do listening to David Attenborough And that is that the female mother flamingos lose their pink color during the process of laying an egg and nourishing their young, their babies. Because the way that the flamingos get the pink coloring in their feathers is because of the food that they eat. I think it's the pink krill. I am not a scientist and I don't have the greatest memory so um, you can look it up if you're really interested and you can tell me if I'm wrong and I'll be happy to say that. But what fascinated me as I was listening last night is that the way that they get their beautiful, vibrant pink coloring is through the nutrients of the krill that they're eating. And because the mom has gone through so much work and has given everything that she had physically to this process of bringing to life another flamingo, she's lost her color. And so it was talking about how in the mating season, the flamingos will walk around in this, in this kind of herd like movement and their, their heads are held high and they're the brightest colored birds gets the first mate. But the female mom who has, who has just spent nine months or, or more than nine months caring for a young has no color and therefore she doesn't get to be a part. And I don't know about you, but something about that process, that natural phenomenon that happens with these beautiful birds that we see really resonated with me. We know the feeling of being drained. And it changes with every season. But the reality is, eventually we'll get our color back. Eventually, the more she nourishes herself and feeds herself and her her young starts to feed themselves, she'll start to get her color back. And it's the same thing with us as moms. The newborn stage is so draining. Absolutely everything you have, you're giving to sustain another human. And then you start to wean off of that and then that process is draining because now you're teaching them and you're having to f- help them figure out how to how to sleep through the night and how to do all the things that come with being a little human and then a toddler and then moving into, you know, preteen years. The way that we extend ourselves as moms changes with every season. And with every season, we get a little bit more of our color back. 
as they begin to gain independence and a little bit more and a little bit more. And so mom is my quick encouragement for us this week. And this one's for the mamas. Sorry, fellas. I know that and I appreciate you being in this space, but something so was pressed on my heart as I was listening to that reality of the flamingos that mom need moms need to hear that you will get your color back and it might be brighter and more vibrant than ever before because of what you've been through but sometimes we have to be drained of everything we have in order to be rebuilt into something more bright and beautiful so if you find yourself void of what feels like beautiful, void of what feels like vibrant, know that you are not alone and this is a phase. And I don't know that it gets easier. I keep hearing I've only been on this motherhood journey for almost nine years and four kids. And I hear that it just doesn't necessarily get easier, but it changes. And I think as things change, we'll begin to rediscover who we are and discover even deeper who God's called us to be. So mamas, if you're feeling a little depleted or drained of your color, know that you are not alone. If you need somebody to share a space of solidarity with, reach out. DM me. You are not alone. Until next time, aloha.